Bonjour and Happy New Year. Happy 2021. I hope that you had lovely holidays and mostly before anything else, I hope you are all safe and healthy. And um, I want to thank you for being here together today for doing some self-care. I feel that this is something we had learned from 2020, that it was very important to take care of herself, to be kind and sweet to herself and to put self-care one of her priority. And I'm glad to see that it's 2021 and it's still part of your intentions and your goal for 2021. So today I decided for this month to do a special kit to start our new year. I choose a kit that I call the Soin Lumière. Soin Lumière is like the brightening facial. I think 2021 is going to be a Lumière year, a brightening year. We have to believe it will be. So let's start with making her skin, making herself happy and writing and let's start with our new kit so you're gonna see like every month it's a big surprise it's just little numbers and during the facial you're gonna hear me talking a lot about brightening the skin ingredient is going to be brightening so this is what I focus on for this month it's like we're gonna still do our cleanser we're still gonna do our soft and deep exfoliation but and the massage and the mask but all the ingredient the goal is to be super brightening make our skin glow get for a new start so take some time to open your kit and um, make yourself ready most of you have the routine by now have your mirror have your bowl of warm water maybe like a little hand towel next to you and then take a few minutes open your kit layer your product have your little clip for your hair and then we're gonna start the treatment together soon Okay, so I have all my little goodies laid out from my number one to my number nine, uh, the four by four gauze that I cut in half like every time, kind of like to do that. So if you haven't done it, maybe you want to do that. The four by four cotton gauze and we have four of them and something new, we have little um, cotton round that we're gonna use for cleanser. So get your headband, get your clip, and let's start then with our number one. So pack it off and say, let's look at her skin. Let's see how it feels. Remember if you had noticed anything in the past few weeks, have your skin's feeling dry, dehydrated? If so, where did it feel? So this is some area that we're gonna need to focus during today's facial. So we're gonna do our number one, and this is our cleanser. Our number one, is a omicellaire from Young Cap. So we're gonna use the omicellaire in a little um, round cotton. So just pour the omicellaire, I'm gonna do just like a half of it, and then use, pass the cotton all over the face to be um, the perfect cleanser for the skin at the moment. Um, the first time Yonka launched the omicellaire. So the omicellaire is really a cleanser, even if it feels like it's a toner, it is a cleanser. We call it the cleansing water. And I remember the first time Yonka launched this omicellaire, I was thinking, it feels so much like a toner. There is no way that water can clean the skin. And actually it totally does clean the skin. It's quite fabulous. So I did my sunblock with the Tizo 3, so I had some little tint. So I'm gonna turn the cotton and do another pass and we'll use a second cotton to do a final pass. So what I love about the omicellaire, at the beginning I was thinking, okay, that's gonna be a perfect cleanser for the lazy night. And I realized, wow, I have way more lazy night than I thought. Because what is lovely about that product is you don't need water. You just pass your cotton all over your face and your skin is totally clean. I absolutely don't need any water. I'm going to do a second pass with the omicellaire, so just want to make sure. So I often recommend when you're traveling, when you go camping, the omicellaire is fantastic. When you travel, if you go to Europe, 12 hour flight, it's like you really want to clean your skin after 12 hours and feel a little bit more fresh when you land. Go to the, I, I always have an omicellaire with me in, the, um, in my bag 
and so go to the bathroom, do your own micellar, do a nighttime cream if you want to, or daytime cream with a little sun protection, whatever is right at the moment. It's also very good for just the eye makeup remover. So if you want to use the Omicellar as an eye makeup remover, Yonka has actually a travel size, so you don't need to use the big size. You can just use a travel size, which is actually this little guy right here. So it's a perfect eye makeup remover and it's not burning, it's not tingling, it's your Yonka 5. There is a lot of rose and there is chamomile, so very, very gentle for the skin. So now then we, um, did the omicellar twice we're going to be able to directly without without anything with our more wipes without water go directly into the treatment and start with our um, number two and our number two is going to be a little scrub and we want you to take all of it it's a crystal clarity and the crystal clarity is also known as the macrodema abrasion cream so the macrodema abrasion cream will be the scrub to really polish polish the skin i don't want you to use it alone like that you have to dilute it with water so this is where your water is important at this moment so put some water make it lighter and creamy if your skin is extremely sensitive today. Instead of doing water, you could blend it with oil. The oil will make it even more gentle onto the skin. But if it's not super sensitive, then just do the water, but see my texture, how light it is. You really want a light texture. If you don't dilute it with water, it's gonna be too rough for the skin. I even gonna apply a tiny bit more because I can feel it rough on my forehead. And you do want to feel the little scrub, the little crystal, uh, it's volcanic crystal who's going to polish the skin. You want to feel them rolling under your finger, but you don't want to feel them too rough and abrasive onto the skin. If it's too abrasive to the skin, then it's going to create sensitiveness and that's not the goal. Right now we're preparing the skin for the deep exfoliation, so we don't want to create sensitiveness. So what you want to do is just circular motion everywhere extend a little bit onto the neck if you feel that when you extend onto the neck you don't have enough water it feel a little too rough then add some water and then instead in the area that always need attention and you know them you should know your skin and you we had pay attention at the beginning of the facial so for me i know that you know my t-zone is definitely a part and i want to pay attention around my eyes to stimulate the little lines, to stimulate the cess regeneration to um, soothe those little lines. Corner of the nose, I have a tendency to sometimes have some blackhead, and the mask, the mask that we've been wearing every day. I definitely created for some people more dryness or more sensitiveness or more clogness, so we can focus in those areas. So now that we did a good scrub and you will feel when the texture is becoming a little bit too rough or you had more water, like for me, it's too rough. So I needed a little bit more gentle, so I'm going to dilute it. So or you had more water or you're ready to remove it. But look at your skin, pay attention, because remember, we want to see pinkness, but we do not want to see redness. So now that we're done with the soft exfoliation, we're going to use our 4x4 um, cotton gauze and we're going to remove the um, microderm abrasion cream. So the 4x4 will permit to really grab gently all those little volcanic beads, those little crystals. And by then, now, we did have a good polish into the skin. The skin, the superficial layer of the dead skin has been removed. So we will be able to go into our deeper exfoliation. It was very fun, actually, to um, select all the product for this treatment. My goal is every month when I do the kit, is to find different goodies who target the season, who target what the skin may need around that time of the year, and often or always finding new goodies for you to experience something new. So I hope you really enjoy this facial. When I did it, when I layer it and really focus on the brightness into the skin, I really could feel my skin totally awake and it stayed with me for quite some days. So I hope you have the same feeling and the same experience and I did. 
you may feel a little bit of redness, you know, with uh, my corneum abrasion, but don't worry, this is, I mean, it's a very light redness, like I can see it on my neck, so it's between being pink and a little bit red, but it's not irritated, so it's all good. So now that I remove it properly, very well, and extend it to the neck, then we're gonna, I'm gonna um, disregard that, and then we're gonna go with how number three, and how number three is our classic Yonka 5 toner, the lotion from Yonka, which is something that we do together during the treatment with a Dr. Lucas with the pulverization, something that I love to do because it's pure of hydration. So even if the scrub was not a deep exfoliation, it's good to create more hydration into the skin because more we hydrate, less, is sense, less the skin is sensitive. So let's apply our toner. Let, let's let the Yonka 5 penetrate into the skin, be gentle, calming and soothing. Plus, I don't know about you, but I'm addicted to that smell. It smells so good. The Yonka 5 smells so good that um, I even have a travel size toner in my car. Just sometimes when it's warm or just to fresh a little bit, um, the car, I use the Yonka, I use that, the toner. So now that we have the toner all penetrated into the skin, we're gonna go with our next um, step which would be how number four and how number four is this little fjord it's we have three this time in the kit so a number uh, we have four and put a number on the number one and the number six because they look very similar and they totally different product i didn't want you to be confused but this one doesn't have a number and it's yellowish and it's thick this is a peeling lumiere from yonka so this is the brightening peel one of the new peels that yonka has and the goal is really really to wake up the skin really to be super brightening into the complexion so i want you to use all of it and when you apply it you're gonna apply it evenly everywhere the goal is to have this deep exfoliation, to let it set onto the skin for five minutes, four to five minutes. So apply the peel and it's okay to feel little tingliness. Like right now, after the microderm abrasion, I could feel that and on the little redness and I could see on my skin, I can feel the peel lumiere tingling. And that's okay. Tingling is okay, it's good. That means it's really um, activated into the skin. It's a combination of glycolic and vitamin C. So this is why we're gonna have the deep, deep exfoliation and we're gonna have all the benefit of the vitamin C, which is super brightening and glowing into the skin. So let's massage her um, pill lumière for like four minutes. And in the meantime, while we massage it, um, we're not gonna massage it, sorry, for four minutes. We're gonna massage it for one minute. And then in the meantime, we're gonna let it set for three, four minutes, and we will have to go and change our water and get some cool water because we just uh, been using it to remove the microderm abrasion cream and the water is a little thirsty. So if you feel that there is tingliness, you know, in specific area, focus in this area by massaging or by doing a little bit of tapotement. If you um, want to be more stimulating onto your skin because you don't feel too much, then you can do little pinching, you can do more tapping in some area. So play with it, play with it but look at your skin, look if they need some attention. But in the meantime, let's take a few minutes to change the water and get some cool uh, cold water. Okay, so we have our cold water. I don't know how you feel, but I can feel the heat coming into my skin. It's not red at all, but it is spicy and hot. So I'm gonna take some cold water and just massage a little bit of cold water onto the skin to kind of cool it off before we remove it. And I think it's gonna be time. It's almost four minutes, so we're gonna be able to gently start the removal of our peel. So let's get how for two other four by four to remove the brightening peel. Our 
always love to do the deep exfoliation. Even if it's like sometimes, ooh, it's like little needles. It's like, hmm, it can be a little bit too much. But it always feels good when we remove it because it feels like the skin is totally oxygenating, feeling those little needles into the skin, those little spice poking at her skin, feel like, okay, we're gonna get rid of all those dead skins. We're gonna have a new, new baby skins coming. Our complexion is gonna look glowing and gorgeous. So it's always a feeling that um, I look forward to because I know the after feeling, the expectation I can get from it. So cold, cold water, remove it very well. If you have to do a second pass, do a second pass. And now we are going to move to another kind of deep exfoliation. This is always my goal when I do the treatment, it's to layer the peel, layer the exfoliation, and to find different kind of peel so we can layer them or apply them one after the other and really boost the skin to a different level without irritation. So now, then my skin is cool and clean and already totally oxygenated and feel that much, much more, more brightening. And I can feel that the dead skin has been really lifted. We're going to do our number five and our number six. So we're going to blend them together. The number five is a dual enzyme. And some of you may gonna say, oh yeah, we've done that in the past, but not really that one. So it's a new one, a new old enzyme that we're gonna activate with a number six. So it can get a little messy. This is why you need the towel to protect, uh, to protect um, your table. And then blend the number six, the activator, because as soon as you blend the activator with the powder, the enzyme in the powder is going to become um, active. You want it to be creamy. You don't want it to be too liquidy and you don't want it to be too thick. So it has to be a nice texture where you can apply it everywhere. What's going to be very important with this uh, dual enzyme, it's to not let it dry. So we have a little compress that we're going to apply on top of our um, enzyme for to let it set for four to five minutes. So apply all your powder, all your enzyme everywhere. You don't want to see the skin by transparency. And what you don't want is for this um, enzyme to dry because if it dry, then it's not gonna activate anymore. The powder activate as soon as it had the liquid with it, the activator, and as soon as that paste dry, the enzyme will stop working. So we really, really want our compress. So what we need to do right now is change the water. But this time, instead of cold water, let's do lukewarm water. I'll tell you why later. Super. So now take your little compress. The water is lukewarm. Open your compress. And that is the compress who's going to keep the enzyme uh, activating. If you feel that by the time you change the water, it feels a little dry, then before you do your compress, get some water, pat it onto your skin to reactivate the enzyme, and then put your compress. And that is something we're going to do even on top of the compress during the four minute application. So get your compress all soaked. You don't want to remove too much of the water. You really want it to be pretty soaked. Even if it's mean that it's going to be dripping a little bit on your neck, you really want this enzyme to stay um, moist. So do your compress everywhere. And why I wanted you to have it lukewarm, because that's going to be more activating. It's going to cool off during those few minutes and we have it, but the lukewarm is even better on the enzyme right at the moment. So we want to activate the enzyme as much as possible. Oh, it's going to look super scary. So now then we have our little compress. We're going to count the time and let it set for four minutes. What I want you to do during the four minutes, it's not really four minutes of relaxation. It's four minutes for the enzyme to be active 
and you really don't want it to dry so during those four minutes you may gonna keep adding some water onto your finger and pat it onto the compress and like i said it's dripping so little messy get your hand towel make sure that it's not dripping too much everywhere onto your clothes so we're gonna do that for four minutes and right now you shouldn't feel too much tingliness because i choose so the um powder enzyme is a combination of pineapple and papaya and then the um, activator is a white tea activator which is super antioxidant and there is a little bit of chamomile is going to be super soothing at the same time so it will activate the skin it will be super brightening into the skin with the white tea but it shouldn't feel any burning or anything if it does feel a little bit hot then you switch from your warm water to your cold water that's the only thing you need to change and maybe you remove it before the four minutes otherwise i see you in just a couple of minutes when we're going to be ready to remove it and in the meantime go back and change your water for uh, clean water okay it's been over four or five minutes so let's remove it so I'm going to remove the, actually, I'm going to start from the bottom and just to lift up. And then I'm going to flip the um, compress on the outside and use it to clean some of the left of the enzyme that we have onto the skin. And then we have the 4x4 four four cut and then we're going to finish with a cleanup. So I don't know about you, but already like right now, I can feel my skin super bright and super glowing. With the Yonka peel, with the peel Lumiere, because it was so tingling, it was a little bit pinkish at the end and it felt a little hot. But that enzyme and that um, white tea really calm the skin and really bring an immediate glow. So it's like a contrebalance of the Yonka Lumiere peel. It's like I love those two working together because we still do a deeper exfoliation but in the same time, we're really cooling and calming the skin. The compress was hot when we put it or lukewarm, and now you can see during those four minutes, it's totally cool off. I ask you to have uh, clean water, cold, I forgot to mention, so cold water. Now we're removing it, everything. Now we're totally cooling off the enzyme. So cold water, take your two um, last cotton gauze, and let's finish with a nice cleanup to really look closely to her skin and to really enjoy this immediate glow so the little pinkness that we have seen from the microdermabrasion and from the peel lumiere from yonka should be totally gone by now you may still have some area like you know i didn't do the enzyme on my neck and i can see that it's still a little bit pink but that we will take care of it with uh, massage because i have a special massage cream for us today so I hope it feels good. I hope you can feel like this, your skin's breathing again. I hope you will enjoy this beautiful, brightening new glow for 2021. And I certainly hope that next month I'm going to be able to reopen and I can see you face to face. That would be so lovely to go back to a little bit of our normal life. So now then we are done with a deep deeper exfoliation with this um two different kind of peel we are going to take our number seven and our number seven is going to be our massage cream i was quite generous with it so to grab it all and some of you know perfectly that product so as soon as you're going to apply it onto your skin you may going to say oh I know this is my nighttime routine oh I know I do it once a week this is one of my favorite yonka product it's a mask number one and it's one of the top leader yonka product and just by the smell because it smells jasmine and rose just the smell will bring you to um, a calming soothing place at least it does for me so apply your mask one that's your massage cream it's a mask but we're gonna massage with it extend it very well all over your neck all over your decollete even behind your neck if you need to and then we're gonna use 
five minutes, if you want 10 minutes to really massage the mask into the skin. So the goal of that mask, it's super hydrating, loaded of hyaluronic acid, a lot of aloe vera, a lot of rose, a lot of jasmine, so all the good ingredients to hydrate the skin, to calm the skin, to soothe the skin. And it's a mask. It's a mask that we're going to do and we're going to keep until we do her mask during our treatment. So we're doing two different peels. We have done two different peels and now we're doing two masks. So massage the mask. Enjoy those textures, those very light textures. Enjoy the smell, the beautiful smell combination of the rose and the jasmine. And focus in the area like, you know, we talk about that, like where there is tension. So focus in this area who can have some tension. And if they do, if you do have some tension, then spend a little bit more time in it and be gentle and kind and slow motion. When we do the massage, we don't need very um, deep or very fast effleurage, but very light effleurage. So enjoy. Um, I see you back in five minutes. If you want to take 10 minutes, go for it and take those 10 minutes. In the meantime, we will get ready for our mask. So that could also be a time where you want to go and grab some candle or grab a warm tea or a glass of water or maybe just put some music on if you haven't put the music yet. I see you back in five minutes at least. Le soleil filtre dans un pays. Okay, my skin feels very calm, very soothed, very happy, I should say. And um, definitely a little bit more brighter than at the beginning of the treatment. So I know that it's even going to look better after her mask. So let's get some scissors and now let's apply her mask. We're going to do the uh, hydrogel hydrating mask. It's loaded of hyaluronic acid. Super, super, super hydrating. A lot of aloe vera. So we're going to plump the skin, hydrate the skin immediately. So this is a mask who's not going to dry out. Open it. And there is one part who's going to um, need to be open in two, sorry. So the black part is going to be on your skin and the other one's going to be removed. So apply the mask all over the face. And then you go. Jamais dans ces épreuves ne songez Dans la fraîcheur complice des embruns À remettre son somme jusqu'au soir Fier dormeur It's so easy when I do on you It's like on myself this one is a little Voilà, challenging Here we are So let's spread the mask everywhere Let's extend it everywhere, let's press it into the skin. Oh my gosh, it feels so cool, so calming. And with a leftover, because we do have a lot of leftover, we're gonna grab this left leftover and apply it. I like to do it a little bit more on top of it, a little bit close to the eyes. And then the leftover will go beautifully onto the neck to the décolleté so you want it all it's um, different than the collagen mask and we did at Christmas during the holidays but remember when we were doing it I was telling you just enjoy the last part of the juice the de delicious ingredient that we have in our mask which is this one is hyaluronic acid and aloe vera so spread it everywhere spread it over your hand your arm we don't want to lose a drop of it so that mask is going to be the goal is going to be to immediately plump immediately hydrate calm the skin so finish giving an, another more brightening effect onto the skin we can't let it set for more than 20 minutes the goal is at least 10 minutes i personally love it for 20 minutes even if you at that time take a nap and just relax for 25 minutes, 30 minutes, it's not going to dry out. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be lovely. So let it soak. If you only have 10 minutes, then keep it for 10 minutes, but enjoy it as much as possible. So take those moments for yourself. Put some meditation music or calming music. 
drink a little bit of water before uh, you relax and lay down onto your couch, onto your seat. But this is a moment for yourself. It's important to um, be kind and gentle. So just enjoy as much time as you can afford. And I will see you back in mm, minimum 20 minutes. That would be lovely. A bientôt. Welcome back. How was those 20 minutes of rest? I don't know about you, but it feels like I can feel my, myself super calm, super mellow. And I can see my skin who's been absorbing quite everything. My mask is not dry because it will not dry, but I can see that all most of the product I've totally been absorbing to my skin. So let's remove it. And while we remove it, let's massage after that the left arm. It's beautiful, it's lovely, a lot of green tea, a lot of antioxidants, a lot of hydration. So we want to keep all the benefits of this ingredient into our skin and actually push it deep into our skin with a little flourish. So let's massage it. And then we're gonna finish with our day cream, with our final cream, which is our number nine. You may gonna recognize the number nine because I used it in the last kit. And you had so many beautiful feedback that because of the smell of rose that um, I decided to add it this time into our uh, facial. It's a bio lipid repair cream. So lovely texture, pretty thick texture, loaded of roses, so very calming, very soothing onto the skin very nourishing with the lipid and so we're gonna use that cream all over our face all over how decollete remember remember i've been saying it all the time every time you come for your facial i always say extend 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 so i hope by doing the kit every month you see how much i extend my product and what i really do like together now on the video it's really my nighttime routine when i do my nighttime routine I um, really make sure that I extend everything not only to my neck but as far as possible to the décolleté because I often say you know we have to take care of our décolleté when it's the summertime but there is more than the summertime there is more than four months out of the year then we should take care of it we really should take care of it during summer because it's more exposed and this is also when we need sunblock but this is really a part that is often neglected and because we will put the body lotion up to the arm, we put the face cream up to the neck or to the jawline. So that part that we show and can show sign of age is can be neglected. So let's spend extra attention. And this is why when I do the kit, I always, always are generous. So you can do not only the face, but the neck and the decollete facial at the same time. So let's look at her skin. Oh, I wish I could have your feedback right now. You know, it's like maybe one day I'm going to be super high tech and we're going to do live and I can read everybody and see everybody, but I'm not there yet. Um, but I would love your feedback. So it's every time when you finish the facial and you send me a little selfie, I cannot tell you how wonderful it feels. It's like seeing your skin glowing and when you do it with your daughter or with a friend, it really, really vibrates my heart. It really makes me so happy. So um, any feedback you have, any selfie you want to send me, please do. And I really want to thank you so much during all this time to do the self-care together. It means so much. Every time that I design the facial, I know who's going to want and, you know, be able to share with you. And, and when I bring you your facial or when I prepare your facial, it's like you're really in my heart. And I hope I will see you very, very soon. I hope shelter is going to be lifted for self-care. I mean, for um, yeah, self-care. And so I'll be able to um, be able to give you some treatment in our new place in the new atelier in Oakland and of course I want to thank Phoebe for always being available always doing magic with the YouTube video because um, otherwise I could not be in touch with you so thank you so much Phoebe thank you to you all and I hope to see you face to face next month otherwise I will prepare another goodies for us merci beaucoup à bientôt au revoir
pas, je ne sais pas ce que je fais, ce que tu fais là. Comment arrivent donc ces choses-là En une ligne, je ressuscite. Tu as si belle, ainsi la si au ralenti. Nos corps s'animent, c'est enivrant comme hors du temps. Ivre et vigueur, où l'on s'égare. C'est bon, c'est doux, c'est bon, c'est doux, c'est bon. La nuit est blanche, une avalanche de bleus intenses, de rouge sang. On ne se connaît pas, je ne me lasse pas de ces yeux-là posés sur moi. Des champs de buis, sueurs exquises, de toi à moi, de moi à toi. C'est bon, c'est doux, c'est bon, c'est doux, c'est bon, c'est doux. C'est bon, c'est doux, c'est bon, c'est doux, c'est bon, c'est doux.